Hi, third graders. Today, Ms. Hadamio and I are going to be out of the classroom this afternoon. If we will be in for questions in the morning, but we are not going to do any live lessons. So here is your lesson for reading today. You are going to be reading an article in the Scholastic News that says, should you clone your pet? So make sure you have this. If you don't have it, remember, you can get to Scholastic News through your Clever account. And I will show you how to do that in just a second. So let's look at our lesson for today. Your learning target will be, today we will write an opinion essay. So you're going to write an opinion essay. It's going to have an introduction, which is going to include your opinion, one reason for an opinion, and one piece of evidence from the text that supports your opinion, and then a conclusion. So yes, you're going to write an entire essay, opinion essay, all by yourself today. I can't wait to see what you've learned. So here are your directions. Read the Scholastic News called, Should You Clone Your Pet? Here is your question you're going to be writing about. What is your opinion on, should we clone pets? On the front of the um, Scholastic News, it tells us that, a, that cloning a pet would mean to create a copy of your furry friend. Should you do that? I want you to read the article and come up with your own opinion. If you think that yes, that's a good idea, use evidence from the story to back up your opinion. If you don't think it's a good idea, use evidence from the story to back up your opinion. You will be writing your, paper, your essay on lined paper. Make sure that you put your name at the very top in the right hand corner and today's date, which is February 5th. And I want you to write the title, Should We Clone Pets? Then you're gonna skip a line and start two finger spaces away from the red line. Make sure you indent your opinion paragraph, your reason and example paragraph, and your conclusion paragraph. So three paragraphs need to be clearly written in your essay. So let's look at how to get to our Scholastic News. I'm going into my Clever account. I'm finding Scholastic. When I click on it, remember yours looks slightly different than mine because I have the teacher version. We're going to look for the one with the dogs on it. Right here, should you clone your pet? And then I want you to open the story if you don't have a copy of it. Of course, if you already have a copy of it, you can read it right from your copy. But it's the first, let me go. It's the first article and it looks like this. It says, should we clone pets? So what you need to do is read this article and there are reasons why yes, we should clone pets or no, we should not clone pets. You also get information about what cloning is and how it works. So it's very important that you read this article carefully so that you can make an educated choice on whether or not you think you should clone pet, that people should clone pets or why you think people should not clone pets because I wanna see your reason that you felt that way and one piece of evidence from the text. So again, I'm looking for a complete essay on this story that includes an opinion sentence, one reason, one piece of evidence from the text and a conclusion sentence, just like we, we practiced in class. So let's review exactly what you need to do today. Make sure you have finished and checked day four of DLA week 19. You have one more phonics assignment in Moby Max on the short E spelled with the EA. Language arts, I put a, a link to a quizzes activity and that link for you is in Schoology. 
And then your reading assignment is to write an opinion essay on should we clone pets? All right, boys and girls, I'm really looking forward to seeing what you wrote. Please make sure that when you are writing, you think about what we've done during class and you remember all of the things that I taught you. Please make sure to reread your article to, or your um, essay when you're finished to make sure it makes sense. All right, boys and girls, good work and I'll see you next week. Have a great weekend.